Hello and welcome back, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Laura, and I usually make videos about hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome to help educate, raise awareness, and share my experiences and advice living with this condition. But today I'm straying away from my usual hypermobile EDS content to talk about Dermatosporaxis Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This is part of a video series where I give each of the 12 rarer subtypes of EDS their own introductory educational video. I have a few videos out already, and stay tuned for future videos in this rare subtype series. So what exactly is Dermatosporaxis Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome? Dermatosporaxis EDS, also known as DEDS, is an extremely rare condition that causes extreme skin fragility, excess loose skin, and severe bruising. Dermatosporaxis EDS belongs to a group of 13 related but separate genetic connective tissue disorders known as the Ehlers-Danlos Syndromes. The hypermobile subtype of EDS, which is the type that I have, is by far the most common, accounting for about 90% of all EDS cases. The dermatosporaxis subtype is extremely rare and accounts for less than 1% of all EDS cases and has a prevalence of less than one in a million people. DEDS is caused by genetic variants found on the ADAMTS2 gene. These genetic variants negatively affect the way the body produces connective tissue, which provides support, protection, and structure throughout the body. Dermatosporaxis EDS is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern. This means if a person inherits the genetic variant from both of their parents, they will have DEDS. People with only one copy of the genetic variant are carriers of DEDS, and carriers do not have the disorder themselves, but they may pass the genetic variant onto their children. Dermatosporaxis EDS is diagnosed through genetic testing, and genetic testing should be considered on anyone who meets the diagnostic criteria for the disorder. To meet the diagnostic criteria for DEDS, a person must meet major criterion one and two and at least one of the other major criteria or major criterion one and two and at least three of the minor criteria. Major criterion one is the presence of extreme skin fragility and congenital skin tears. Major criterion two is the presence of characteristic cranial facial features, which are evident at birth, early infancy, or evolve later in childhood. These cranial facial features include prominent and protruding eyes with puffy eyelids and excessive skin around the eyes, large soft spots at birth, and or wide cranial sutures, which is where the bones of the skull meet, a small underdeveloped chin, and blue or gray discoloration of the sclerae, which are the white part of the eyes. The other seven major criteria include redundant, almost lax skin with excessive skin folds at the wrists and ankles, increased wrinkling of the palms, severe bruisability with a risk of subcutaneous hematomas and hemorrhage, umbilical hernia, which is hernia by the belly button, growth retardation, short limbs, hands, and feet, and birth complications due to connective tissue fragility. The 11 minor criteria include the presence of soft and doughy skin texture, skin hyperextensibility, meaning stretchy skin, atrophic scars, meaning scars that indent into the skin, generalized joint hypermobility, which means most of the joints of your body move past a normal range of motion, complications of visceral fragility, such as bladder rupture, diaphragmatic rupture, rectal prolapse, etc., delayed motor development, low bone density, excessive hair growth, tooth abnormalities, nearsightedness and astigmatism, and strabismus, meaning cross eyes. Because dermatosporaxis EDS is a genetic disorder that you're born with, there is no cure, but there are many treatment options available. DEDS is managed by treating the various symptoms that each individual is experiencing. There's no one-size-fits-all treatment. Key aspects of care will usually focus on treating and preventing issues of the skin and joints. Treatment options to help manage the many symptoms of DEDS may include medication, pain management, joint bracing, mobility aids, surgery, and physical therapy. Do you or anyone you know have Dermatosporaxis Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome? Let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to hear your story. If you thought this video was helpful, please click on the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and don't worry, it's completely free. If you click on the notification bell icon, you will be notified when I release new videos. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.